Hi, this is Matt, and this is part two of Chiodos' interview. Pucky! Hey, it's Anthony G. <laughs> Hello, I've been a big fan of Chiodos for a very long time. You guys are my favorite band and always will be. How do you guys come up with such awesome song titles? Uh, inside jokes, random yeah, yeah, phrasing. They all have it. A story Usually there's like a deadline of like... <laughs> yeah. That the one that out. I said, I'm everything that's normal. We all just started, um, we set up our instruments and just started screaming the words, I'm everything that's normal, at different phrasing and different times and different, different weird tempos ways. And everybody did it. We counted to three. When we went out there, we all yelled it in our own ways and then we started a song. <laughs> it was the worst introduction. Stephanie... <laughs> 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 Helena Lynn Osborne, she says, I have a couple Sorry. questions. Okay, all right. Well, but the first right. is for Craig. Do you think the time you're away from Chiodos has changed you or your writing musical style in any way, positive or negative? Yeah, Yeah. Uh, both, both. Um, changed me because I'm always searching for growth and, and working on myself uh, to be better um, as a human being, you know, outside of music. and. Uh, the past couple of years, like I said earlier in this in this Q and A, um, have been less about searching for who I am and more about working towards who I want to be. And um, I was always doing that, but I always didn't know where I I didn't have a goal, so I was kind of wandering around. And now that I've kind of found myself within that time frame, uh, I feel refocused. I feel more confident in who it is that I am and um, ready this time around, so uh, I definitely changed during that time away from the band. Songwriting, um, absolutely, I think both the band and myself uh, changed from our different experiences. You can't not grow in two or three years. Peyton Knapp, uh, this is directed <coughs> mainly towards Craig, that's me. I want to become a prof I feel like I need to trade this off. Or I'm gonna ask myself the question. I want to become <laughs> a professional musician, singer, songwriter. <coughs> And I didn't know if you would have any tips you'd be willing to give me. My tips would be to do what you want to do. It's really that simple. And the hard part is being confident in that, pretty much. You just do what you want to do. You make something your passion in your life, and you work towards it every single day. The hard part is, is just staying confident and true in who it is that you want. And, what your vision originally was as opposed to what it is that people want to see. And, um, you know, it, it may be harder, but it's it's always harder when you pave the way. You know, it's always harder when, when you're the one making, you know, when you're the one leading the pack. And, and hopefully that's something that you want to do as an artist because I think every artist should pave their own way. And, uh, you know, people will follow behind. And it doesn't mean that you should turn around and light the way for them. It doesn't mean that you should turn around and go back. You just got to keep forging ahead, you know, so. Uh, I would say confidence is probably the number one thing. Um, you know, mix in with a little bit of patience, a little bit of integrity, and a little bit of uh, hard work, pretty much. Yeah.